Let us take in Shiva Shakti in five deep breaths. Shakti Sada Mohatam Yam Chara 
युवती युवती नाम कुछ गिर नटत्याशाशाथास्वटति झटिति स्वैरम भितह कपालिं भिक्षोमि हृदय कपि मत्यंत चपलम दृढं भक्त्यावद्वाशिव भवदधीनं so <clears throat> yet is it is another beautiful shloka which takes us towards shiva by tackling what the mind is सदा मोहाटव्या चरति युवतीना कुचगि शिवा ऑल द टाइम सदा मोहाटव्या चरति इट कीप्स मूविंग रोमिंग अराउंड इन द थिक dark forest of moha the ignorance yuvati nam kuchagiro and also it gets attracted and it roams again and again on the women's enchanting breasts natatyasha shakha swatati झटिति स्वैरम अभी स्वैरम झटिति स्वैरम अभी इन ऑल डायरेक्शन विदउट एनी डिस्क्रिशन इट जस्ट कीप्स जंपिंग डांसिंग नटति आशा शाखा आशा शाखा इन द ब्रांचेस ऑफ desires atati it keeps dancing and jumping and moving from one branch to another branch which are nothing but the desires the thoughts of desires kapalin o kapali who is holding brahma kapala in his hands for भिक्षाटन ओ कपालिन भिक्षो मे हृदय कपिम अत्यंत चपलम आई हैव ए भिक्षा एन ऑफरिंग टू यू विच इज मै माइंड विच इज अत्यंत चपल इट इज वेरी फिकल इट कीप्स मूविंग हियर एंड देर एंड हियर एंड देर because it is kapi it is monkeyish hrudaya kapim my mind itself is like monkey it is monkey atyanta chapala it is fickle minded and it desires for anything which it comes in contact with to that extent it is moving in मोहाटव्या इन द थिक फॉरेस्ट ऑफ मोह द इग्नोरेंस विच इज कॉजिंग द अटैचमेंट एंड डिजायर टू एक्सपीरियंस एंड गो रनिंग बिहाइंड ऑल द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द सेंसेस कपालीन भिक्षो में हृदय कपि अत्यंत चपलम दृढ़ भक्तिया भद्वा शिव ओ शिव आई एम ऑफरिंग यू दिस हृदय कपि एंड इट इज नॉट इजी फॉर यू टू हैंडल दट दीक्षा सो यू हैव टू टई दिस हृदय कपि टाइटली फर्मली स्ट्रांगली विथ भक्ति 
bhakti as the rope you bind him bhavat adhinam kuru he vibho one who is all pervading vibho bhavat adhinam kuru and bring it under your control the beautiful shloka which we have to remind every day to know what the mind is how easily it keeps going from one thought to another like kapi the monkey so he, shankaracharya has given the right analogy if we understand <clears throat> and that is why mind is also given another name chanchala that means which is constantly moving chanchala that to with fickleness sada moha tavya eternally running wild in the forest where there is no any path and as we keep roaming in the thick forest dark forest it looks we are progressing but there will be a dead end or we come back to the same point where we started it happens very often when we go into the forest for hiking isn't it but this is mahatavi it is a great thick forest and that too it is moha it is the ignorance that i am the body i am the mind which is making us follow the senses and run towards the objects of the senses and we become involved in it yuvati naam kuchagirav not only that this mind gets so attracted to the enchanting mountain like the breasts of women young meets natati asha shakhasu atati not only that it dances around it jumps up and down this mind hridaya kapi which is anthakarana kapi charati yuvati nam kuchagiro here what we have to understand is who is that yuvati it is she maya devi maha maya she is the one who has created mohatavi in which we are all roaming around we are all means the our mind so as it is roaming around mahamaya is also enchanting the mind through her enchanting breasts which are like mountainous girau what is it mahamaya is the whole manifestation and how many objects are there which are attracting us in numerable it is like the heap it is like the mountain that many objects are there so mahamaya is teasing us she is playing with us and she is making sure that we are all enchanted forever and ever and ever that we are not ready to give up that moha and keep roaming again and again and again so here yuvati nam kuchagirau it doesn't refer only to men 
both men and women as jeevatmas are getting enchanted by mahamaya who is that yuvati natatyasha shakhasu atati jhatiti swairam abhitah it keeps jumping from one branch to another another branch to another branch like that it keeps jumping from one to another with so much of perfection that it doesn't fall down or it doesn't lose the grip of the next branch so it is jumping up and dancing isn't it the thing with ourselves the mind mind jhatiti and it doesn't need time to move around wherever it wants swairam wherever it likes without any discrimination it jumps from one branch to another it need not be systematically from one to another branch the branch can be anywhere else swairam abhita abhita in all directions it knows how to jump how to dance and go to the next branch that is what we are going through that hridaya kapi it is constantly feeding with the thought of desires thought of desires one after another the very cause of thought is the desire so the thoughts keep going from one to another even without we realizing it and it has the capacity to jump from one thought to some other thought which is not at all connected with it but without any gap in between so just like the kapi has a very good grip even this mind has such a beautiful strong grip that from thought to thought thought to thought it keeps running here and there when there is happiness it jumps up it dances when it is unhappy sorrow it keeps marching from one branch to another slowly to pick up the grip and the energy in it so bhikshu me hridaya kapim atyanta chapalam this mind is such that i cannot control it myself i am giving it as bhiksha to you so please take care of it so before going into that let us understand why shankaracharya has given in such detail if he had just said hridaya kapim atyanta chapalam that would have been enough but see how clearly he is telling sada mohatavyam charati mohatavyam in the forest thick forest this hridaya kapim that thick forest is the total ignorance i have made it sure that i am the body i am the mind and i want to go behind the objects of the senses i want to enjoy the pleasures of this world continuously so my mind is running towards finding the happiness of the objects of the world to experience mohatavi and yuvati nam kucha girav that kucha is nothing but the heap of objects 
sense objects which are attracting the mind continuously. And Asha Shakhasu Atati. So, why is he using all these things in detail? Swairam Abhitaha. At its will, it knows how to go in all directions. Jatiti. Instantaneously. These are all very similar to the characteristics of our mind. From thought to thought, it keeps going on and on. Just like the kapi with good grip. What is wrong with it? Now let us see. In Upanishads, it describes thought and there is thought and there is thought and there is thought. The thought can become different only when there is gap in between. Isn't it? If I keep on saying the words one after another like that continuously, it just becomes the sound. So even in a sentence, we give the gap in between the words. Even in breathing, we inhale, we exhale. Between exhale and the next inhale, there is gap. Kala, there is kala in between. So, that gap between two thoughts, the gap between, the silence between two words, the kala gap between exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale. These gaps are nothing but the base substratum, which is Brahman. Got it? So, we are Going through it, we are experience that Brahman when we are talking, when the thoughts we are recognizing, oh, that was a thought, this is another thought, this is another thought. After the thoughts are passed on, but we are not realizing it. Even in inhale and exhale, we are not recognizing the gap, which is nothing but the Brahman. Because that gap is there, we are able to understand, we are able to experience, inhale, exhale, two different words, two thoughts. So that gap is Brahman. That is the base for the words to be understood. Otherwise, it is just the sound. It is inhale and exhale. Because of the gap, it is a beautiful system. Otherwise, it is just passing of the wind. In the same way, between two, two thoughts, then there is utter silence in the mind. That is Brahman. But we are losing it because mind is kapi. That's the reason he has given it in detail. Natati asha shakasu jhatiti swairam abhitaha. So it is natati as well as atati. Atati is moving. Natati is dancing. And who is this bhikshu? Kapalin. Shiva is the one with Brahma Kapala in his hand. That Brahma is the creator, one who created the whole manifestation. His skull he is holding as the bowl. 
to beg and what is the offering it is the mind itself most valuable offer one can give to the most eminent bhikshuka kapalin who is shiva the consciousness see how beautiful it is how beautiful i am giving it as an offering the mind to the consciousness and because i know because i have experienced that mind as chanchala ever active fickle i am telling that shiva it is not easy it is difficult so please bind it bind that mind with the rope called bhakti so we also say bhakti and shraddha when a person is bound by this naturally the mind will be under control automatically the consciousness will take the upper hand to lead that person in his every thought and every action how come this child is getting first rank in all the tests and all the examinations throughout its school the teacher at once says oh that child has so much of bhakti and shraddha in whatever it does and it is showing in its studies and in its result isn't it so what is bhakti total focus on one thing with lots of passion and love towards it total focus total involvement with love and passion towards that so it can be towards education workaholics they don't even feel thirst or hunger they keep going on and on and on and on doing their work how do they do it they have the bhakti towards that work but all these things will end after some time when the project is done one has to come out of it whereas if we become shivoholic there is no end to it it can keep growing more and more and more so drudam bhaktya badva tight tightly with bhakti shiva bhavat adhinam kuru vibho so bring it under your control so that the mind is always thinking enjoying experience shiva in all its actions and thoughts so that is the beauty of this shloka dhruti <clears throat> stambhadha <clears throat> ृदुनिबिवसुटपटकुटीशद जय स्वामी शिवगण विभो धृतिस्तंभाधारा दृढ़ 
Gunanibadham Sagamanam. So once we have offered the mind to Shiva, naturally we feel like having Shiva in our mind all the time. So Shankaracharya is beautifully inviting Shiva to be with him. For that, Dhritis Tambhadharam as the supporting pillar. Stambha means the pillar. Adhara, the supporting pillar which is in the center. That is Dhriti, the endurance, fortitude, um, confidence. Dhridha Guna Nibadham and that tent is tied up, supported by many other ropes, which are Dhridha Guna, the good qualities of the mind. Sagamanam and it is mobile tent, mobile house which is the mind, Anthakkarana. Vichitram and this mobile tent, the mind, is Vichitra. It has lots of varieties in it. It is variegated. Padmadhyam and it is in the shape of the lotus. And also with the characteristics of lotus. Padmadhyam, it is very much like lotus. Prati Devasa San Marga Ghatitam. And this mobile tent, which is the mind, is established, pitched in the San Marga, in the right kingly path every day. Prati Divasa, San Marga Ghatitam, every day it is established in the royal way, royal path. O Smarare Machetaha Sputa Pata Kutin and this tent, O Smarare. Oh, the enemy of smara, that is karma, the desires. Oh, smarare. My kutir, that is the tent, the house, is covered with sputa pata, that is clear, sattvic, white pata, which is so pure. Like dhavada, it reflects colors. It doesn't imbibe. It reflects different colors. Prapya vishadam. And this mobile cottage or mobile tent, mobile house, vishadam, it is vast. Oh, Vibho, you are all pervading. I can't build a small tent for you. It is vast. Prapya means having reached that mobile tent. Jaya Swamin Oh, victory to you. I hail victory to you. Swamin Shaktyasaha along with Shakti. Shiva Ganaihi Sevita Vibho. All pervading Vibho. Shiva Ganaihi Sevita. One who is served by all the Ganas. Shiva Ganas. Please enter that. You please reach, enter. Just imagine, this is nothing but how 
a sadhaka's daily program should be how to prepare oneself to receive shiva it's not just shiva shaktiya sah along with shakti that means what i have to live in this world with the body and the mind and interacting in the world so mind should be stabilized and balanced and i have to constantly have shiva within me for which i need both of you shiva shakti so please come along with her just shiva shakti no shiva ganai hi sevita one who is served by ganas that means if shiva shakti have to be served by ganas even ganas have to come along with shiva and shakti so just imagine if all of them come into the pure mind which is vast ready to host because it has become pure and it is having the white pure dhavala like spotless tent and they the sadhaka is hosting the whole family of shiva shakti which includes all the shiva ganas <laughs> how beautiful it is so <clears throat> druti stambha dhara for me to have that kind of mobile tent my mind one has to have the supporting pillar that pillar should be good endurance dhruti persistence determination it should not be chanchala good ichha shakti sankalpa should be strong that is the aadhara stambha and drudha guna not just the pillar is enough there will be many other ropes around those ropes should be the qualities great qualities like daya ahimsa perseverance kshama all good qualities will serve as the supporting ropes sagamana it is mobile tent and it is movable in all directions as well isn't it the mind is limitless it is vast and it is mobile as well vichitram it creates diversity the mind creates diversity it has so many emotions and it has relationship with the world because of which it is emitting so many different colors like gems but it is only reflecting all the all of them it is not imbibing it is not consuming those emotions it is just reflecting like spatika linga if you keep it it reflects the colors around it but it will always stay as spatika colorless white spatika so like that it is vichitra it is wonderful at the same time <coughs> padmadhyam and it is shaped with the characteristics of lotus the mind should become like the lotus without attachment living as pure flower ready to be offered at the feet of shiva shakti 
ಪ್ರತಿ ದಿವಸ ಸನ್ ಪ್ರತಿ ದಿವಸ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ನಾನ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಶುಡ್ ಗೋ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲೀನಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಫ್ ಮೇಕ್ ದ ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ವೈಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪಿಚ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಇಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ that is what we do during dhyana and also in our daily routine we have to make it a point and it should be going in sanmarga ghatitam it should be established in sanmarga that marga that is contemplative thoughts on shiva is the mark contemplative thoughts should keep going smoothly so that the tent can be established as the day passes from yesterday to today to tomorrow it keeps going every day we have to establish it properly smarare one who takes away the kama the desires from the mind smarare so we need smarare here when there are too many desires worldly desires will i be able to walk on the sanmarga the contemplation on shiva bringing in shiva in my routine it's not possible is it possible to build a tent with the pillar as dhruti no that's also not possible because like natatya asha shakhasu atati the mind at once starts jumping all over it is not possible so whom to approach to help me it is smarare o oh, smarare one who is capable of taking away the desires worldly desires keep him under control smara the desires under control smarare it is very true by this we can understand our prayer to shiva or shakti even though we know it is shiva we have to address the right nama for him to get the right blessings from him for example if a mother is a teacher a singer or a dancer the child cannot go and ask mother who is dancing on the stage to give milk or some food even though that dancer is the mother of the child now she is just dancer at that time not the mother in the same way when she is taking care of the child as a mother another person cannot ask that mother to come and dance on the stage because she is mother at that time got the point so in the same way even though the person is same when she is with different responsibilities accordingly the work will be carried by that person in the same way shiva or shakti should be addressed in the right way here he is smarare so he is saying smarare macchetah sputa pata kutin as i explained it is only reflecting 
because the mind is so pure and it wants to host shiva shakti and all the ganas the mind is not going anywhere else it has become shivohalik so the mind is waiting to host whole shiva gana <coughs> shakti and shiva jay swami be victorious o master of mind that means what if lawyer is the winner in the court that means i am the winner isn't it so i say oh lawyer be the victorious one if he is victorious that means my case is also positive if i have to undergo any surgery i say oh doctor let you be successful jaya jaya that means because the doctor is successful my surgery is also successful in the same way jaya swami o oh swami you be successful in making this mind coming under control your control and being able to put such a beautiful tent in the form of lotus which is pure white satvik and it reflects everything and this shiva gana as i have told many times they are all realized souls and having lived with the very close association with shiva and shakti they are imbibing nothing but shivatva and shakti in them the shivananda other than that they don't know any other emotions just ananda bliss 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 they are that great shiva ganas and to have them come to my mobile tent which is mind how beautiful it is the two every day prati divas <coughs> प्रवेशोद्युक्तमति बहुधा तस्कते इमं चेतोर कथमिह सहे शंकर विभो तवाधीन मयि निरपराधे कुरु द माइंड इट इज चंचला इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट इवन दो आई एम ऑफरिंग माय माइंड टू शिवा अगेन एंड अगेन दैट ईगो फॉल्स आई इज प्रॉपिंग अप प्रलोभाई विथ great jealousy greed with all those negative qualities in the mind pralobhad yehi artha harana to steal the wealth paratantro and it is using it is planning different ways from where it is stealing dhani grihe in the house of the wealthy pravesho dyuktasan bhramati bahudha and to get the entry into the houses of 
the wealthy people or wealthy houses it is finding different different ways it is trying out different ways bahudha in many ways o taskarapate the leader of all the thieves <laughs> for shiva it, he is telling o taskarapate o leader of all the thieves this mind which is uh provoked by the arishad vargas it is trying to steal the wealth in the wealthy houses and it is trying its many ways to get the entrance into the houses imam chetashchoram khatamih sahe shankara o shankara one who is very auspicious how can i bear how can i tolerate this imam this chetash choram one who steals the mind this chora vibho o all pervading lord you know in and out of every mind you also know what that dhani griha is what that wealthy house is what is there inside you know everything being vibho shankara how can i build this mind which is trying to steal tavadhinam krutva mai niraparadhe kuru krupam by making it under your control by controlling it totally this mind which is thief make me niraparadhi make me clean out of that stealing name or the status which i am getting now that can be done only by krupa kuru krupa by your compassion you can do it please do so what does it mean here the lower mind which is highly influenced by avidya the ignorance is trying to steal artha the objects harana it is trying to steal the objects in dhani griha in the wealthy houses what can we understand the mind is running after the artha artha means what pada artha does it ring the bell pada is just the sound book when i say book i am just uttering the word uttering the sound but actual book is the artha the object so artha harana means what the mind the lower mind wants to steal the objects which are in the dhani griha dhani griha which is that the whole world is very very wealthy having so many objects in it very attractive very expensive objects are all around and this lower mind of mind like a thief it wants to steal all of them and it is praveshu dyuktasan bhramati bahudha and in so many ways it has all the five panchendriyas and the mind is also using it 
and the mind is also making the intellect also to follow it. So all are planning together different ways. How can I steal that object through the eyes, through the ears? That means what? The lower mind is constantly trying to go out of the meditative, contemplative sanmarga of Shiva. So, pralobhat, that it is not going on its own because it is provoked. The sense organs are there, sense perception is there. And the objects are also available because it is dhanigraha, the world. So mind wants to go after it. Imam chetas choram. And this mind is stealing the viveka also. Not only the five senses, but it is chetas choram. It is stealing the viveka also. And because of which I am becoming helpless. So, will you control, make it your adhina, under your power? Because of which I become free of that mind. And I will stay as that consciousness, Atma. So, this shloka is coming because in all jivatmas, jiva and mind are put together in the three shariras. So, jiva has to stay with this mind, which is constantly going outward. But it is the jiva which is suffering because of this lower mind not leaving him to stay in touch with Paramatma, who is also within. That jiva, that false eye, is creating so much of problem because it wants to experience the world. Go and steal the artha the objects through its five senses and enjoy. So, imam chetas choram katamiha sahe. How, how can I bear it? So, it is the pleading of jiva. <clears throat> and taskarapate. See, as I told you in the previous shloka, here Shiva is addressed as Taskarapate. It comes in uh, Rudra also. The leader of Taskarana, the leader of all the thieves. That means what? He is capable of stealing even the greatest thieves. The great greatest thief is Maya Devi. She, Mahamaya, Maya Devi, she steals the Vidya from this Jivatma being by wailing with ignorance. So she is stealing the mind which is naturally connected with consciousness by putting the veil in between. So, she is stealing the Anthakarana and make it go towards the world. So, she is stealing them from Shiva. Mm -hmm. Shiva is 
Maya Hade. Why will he leave her? He says, I will steal you and also your shadow, which is ignorance, through my ray of consciousness. Got it? Shiva says, I am your pati. I am the Lord. You are stealing from all these jivatmas. But I am going to steal you and your shadow, which is ignorance, which is falling on all the jivatmas. How will I steal? By the ray of consciousness. So he is Taskarapate. So beyond Atma, who else is there to steal us? So he, when he steals that ignorance, automatically the Atma, Jivatma will become one with Paramatma. It realizes, I am Paramatma. <coughs> Mai Niraparadhe Guru. The reason for this is Jiva left to itself is Niraparadhi. But because of the samskaras, vasanas, which are carried from janma to janma by the mind, Sukshma Sharira, it has to cooperate and keep moving from one janma to another and in different bodies with different capacities. So please make me niraparadhi, faultless one. One who is faultless is niraparadhi. So this shows we are all inherently Shiva. Because of the mind we are Jeevatmas who are going through the influence of Maya. Karomi Tvat Pooja Sapadi Sukhado Me Bhava Vibho Vidhitvam Vishnutvam Dishasi Kalutasya palamiti Punashchatvam drashtum divi Bhuvi vahan pakshim rugatam Adrishtva tathedam Kathami hasahe shankarami bho Karomi tvat pujam Sapadi Sukhado me Bhava Vibho. Hey Vibho, all pervading one. I am doing the puja, Tvat puja, your puja. I am worshipping you. Please, Sapadi, quickly, at once, give me that Sukha. However, Kalu, if at all you are pleased with my puja and if at all, Kalu, if you give me Vidhitvam, Brahmatva, Vidhi means Brahma, Brahmatva, the status of Brahma or Vishnutvam, the status of Vishnu, Dishasi, if you give me that, Tasyaha palamiti as the phala, as the result of my puja to you. If at all you give me that. Punaschatvam drashtum to see you again. Divi bhuvi vahan pakshi mrugatam. Then I have to become a bird in the sky or an animal mruga in the bhuvi, in the earth. 
ಅದೃಷ್ಟ್ವಾ ತತ್ ಖೇದಂ ಕಥಮಿಹ ಸಹೇ ಓ ಶಂಕರ ಹೌ ಶಲ್ ಐ ಬೇರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಎಗೇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಗೇನ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಈಸ್ telling about the pauranic story where brahma and vishnu had the argument who is superior among those two then shiva appeared as a huge pillar of illuminous light then shiva said whoever is able to recognize realize experience and show me the proof that you have seen adi anta that is the end and the starting of this pillar for sure you are superior so both brahma took the form of a bird and he flew high in the sky to find the anta vishnu took the form of a boar and started digging the bhumi but they could not find they could not find so shankara the auspicious one you always do auspicious things to all of us so please understand oh shankara as a phala for my puja to you if you give me that brahmatva and vishnutva i don't think it is a good thing because to see you again if i become the bird or the mruga i will not be able to see you just like brahma and vishnu could not find you or see you how can i bear that separation from you adrishtva without seeing you that kheda that sadness oh i didn't get to see shiva there or here how shall i bear it what's the deeper meaning in this many jeevatmas they do the puja to get the result phala of the swarga or some prapti of siddhis or the pleasures of the world or the wealth in this world knowledge in this world but however shankara is very firm i don't want any of these things i want just you shiva i want shiva alone shiva gnana which is atma gnana which is brahma gnana other than that i don't want any other phala i am doing your worship if at all you give me that brahmatva the status of being brahma the status of being vishnu that will not help because even they are involved so much in their responsibilities of being the creator and the preserver they are pinned in this universe so there is no way there is no time for them because he is called brahma because he is creating the minute he stops the creating work no more he is brahma in the same way vishnutva is the responsibility a hat which is wearing as the preserver so he is involved totally into that job that means even if you give me that brahmatva and shiva uh, vishnutva i will be held
So here I will tell you, as long as a person is dancing physically, that person is called a dancer. When she is sleeping or sitting, she will not be called as a dancer. She is a human being with a name and some other relationship. In the same way, Brahmatva, Shivatva is representing their involvement so deeply into the world. So I don't want that. Even if you give me that, I will have to carry the sadness of not being able to see you. Because Brahma and Vishnu, when they got that um, bird and the boar forms, they could not find you. So that sadness, I don't want. Adrishtva tat khedam khatamiha sahe. And how can I bear it? It's not possible. Shiva, you have to be with me all the time. I want to realize you, experience you all the time. So I'm not ready for it, he says. <clears throat> Kadava Kailasi Kanakamani Saudhe Sahaganai Vasan Shambho Rathe Sputa Ghatita Burdhan Jali Puta Vibho Sambas. Swami Paramashiva Pahi Tinigadan Vidhatrinam Kalpanan Shanamiva Vinishyami Sukhatan Kadava Kailase Kanakamani Saudhe Oh, Shiva, Vibho, Samba, Swami, Paramashiva, Pahiti, protect me, protect me, Nigadan, saying that. What is it? Kadava Kailase. When shall I? When will I be? When can I be? In Kailasa, in Kanakamani Saudhe, in your golden, gem studded golden palace, Saudha. Sahaganaihi Vasan, and staying, residing with other ganas, other attendants who are surrounding you. Shambho Ragre, in front of Shambho, one who is auspicious, standing in front of him. Sputa Ghatita Murdhan Jali Putaha, holding the hands above the head with Anjali Hasta, like surrendering to him. He Vibho, He Samba, He Swami, He Paramashiva, Pahi, Pahi, Pahiti, Nigadan, saying that, addressing it in all these ways. Vidhatrinam Kalpan, Kshanamiva, Vineshyami Sukhata. I will spend the whole Kalpa of Brahma, which is for so many thousands and thousands of years, human years, I will spend it as a kshana, as just a moment with sukha, sukhata. 
Nip Sukha. So what does it mean? Here, Shankaracharya is visualizing, but he wants to, wants it to have. In his vision, he is seeing all the ganas are standing right in front of Shambhu in his Kailasa, which is the palace, which has the color of so many gems, and it is Swarna, golden color, golden palace. And he is also visualizing Vasan, residing, staying with them permanently in Kailasa. And that too, all the time holding his hands. Sputa Ghatita Murdhanjali. Above the head. Vidhatrinam Kalpan Shanamiva. As though it is just a moment like that. I am ready to spend the whole Kalpa, Brahma Kalpa, with lots of bliss. Kadava, when is it possible? When shall I do it? So, Kailasa, if we see the manifested Kailasa in Himalayas, that Kailasa Parvata has different, different colors according to the movement of the sun and many times so many yatris would have seen the golden kailasa and that is his palace and it is gem studded means again that surya is giving shine in different angles bringing different colors to it Sahaganai Vasan and these Ganas, as I told you, are all perceiving bliss, living bliss, breathing bliss. And they don't have any other emotions, just that bliss. To be among such people, it emits that bliss to the other person and everyone becomes, in a way, injected, infected by this bliss. And automatically the hands will go up when he is standing in front of Shambhu. And one will feel like shouting, crying out. Vibho, one who is all pervading. That Kailasa makes one feel that. It's vast, open. Vibho, Samba. And he is with Amba. Sa Amba. He is with Amba. Means what? It is also very important for us to know. Shiva and Shakti are experienced as two different entities. Only through this limited, ignorant, um, one which is totally dipped in duality. Otherwise, it is like Samba, Shiva, Shakti are like the coin with two faces, two sides. So I think it is good if we give a little more time to understand the reality of this. The minute I ask anyone, what is this? You will say, 
it is loony one dollar canadian dollar and i if i turn it and ask you what is this you will say it is loony one canadian dollar you never said this is the loon face of one dollar you didn't say that this is the face of the queen you didn't say that you are saying it is one dollar it is one dollar but it has two different sides with two different faces if i break it in the middle and make it as two circles will it be called as dollar one dollar no no one will value it as one dollar it is the same thing with shiva shakti what is this shiva what is this shiva what is this shakti what is this shakti so because shiva shakti are the two sides of one entity they are able to take the work of the whole universe all the panchakritya srishti sthiti laya tirodana anugraha they are able to accomplish it if they are separated like shiva and shakti the universe will not be there and panchakritya will never happen so they have to be one now if we look at it this loony what is what is it made of what is the source of this coin it is nothing but bronze coated nickel that is the reality of this in the same way what is the reality of shiva shakti it is satchidananda sat chit ananda because it is eternally blissful consciousness they are having different sides as shiva and shakti but it is one entity it is one entity so because they are one as samba this could be shiva this could be shakti but they are seen as samba so here he is saying samba swamin you are the swami of my and parama shiva you are the ultimate pahi pahi protect me like that nigadan saying that uh reciting the slogans vidhatrinam kalpan the kalpa 1000 years of hu human years is equal into one day of brahman so like that for kalpa to happen into 365 and it goes to many millions all together so that many years if i had to have my anjali hasta above my head and stand in praising shiva it just goes off like kshana kshana is present the how much is put in in this kshana meva vineshyami so one thing about this anjali puta this anjali hasta when it is held in front of the chest it is for all when it is held here it is for guru the elders 
and when it is held here it is for devatas the ultimate parama shiva so that is total surrender all the way to deva who is parama shiva and kshana meva like present that means there is no effect of kala and there is no effect of desha because of which vidhatrinam kalpan kshana meva everything becomes just kshana the present and i enjoy that bliss स्तवै ब्रह्मादीनां जय जय वचोभिर्नियमिना गणानां केलीभि मदकलमहोक्षस्य ककुदी स्थितं नीलग्रीवं त्रिनयनमुमाश्लिष्टवपुषं कदा त्वां पश्येयं करधृतमृगं खण्डपरशुं सो इन द प्रीवियस श्लोका शंकराचार्य वांट्स samipya he wants to be in kailasa with all the ganas and in front of shambhu here he is saying sa lokya i want to be in the same loka same status my mind should be resonating the same loka what is it स्थवै ब्रह्मादीना ब्रह्मा एंड मेनी अदर देवतास आर प्रेजिंग शिवा विथ डिफरेंट स्तव दट इज स्तोत्रास दे आर ऑल सिंगिंग द स्तोत्रास जय जय वचो भिर नियमिनाम नियमिनाम आर द ऋषीस ऋषि गणा द group of rushis who are surrounding him in kailasa they are all saying jaya jaya vacho the slogans of jaya jaya victory gana nam keli bi and these ganas shiva ganas attendants are all involved in joyful dance joyfully they are dancing and singing surrounding shiva and <coughs> madakala mahokshasya uksha means the bull mahoksha means the greatest bull which is nandi kakudi on his back so madakal mahokshasya kakudi on on the back of that nandi sthitam shiva is sitting sthitam he has established himself on the back of nandi neelagrivam one who has the blue neck trinayanam one who has three eyes umashlishtavakusham and uma is embracing him tightly kada tvam pashyeyam when will i see that when will i see you in this way when will i be able to experience you in this way karadhrata mrugam one who is holding the mruga the deer in the hands khanda parashum also is holding parashu that is the axe in his hands 
So what do we understand by this? Stavair Brahmadina Shiva who is the Lord of all Devatas because he is the consciousness. He is the consciousness. So all other Devatas who are very close to him can only praise him because because of him, they are all devatas. It is he who has granted that status as devatas to these uh, gods. So they are all worshipping him. Niyaminam, all the rushis are really understanding the greatness of Shiva, the greatness of that consciousness. That jnana, pragnana, they are having, because of which they are all singing the slogan, uh, slogans that jaya, jaya, jaya with those words. Gananam keli bi and as usual, ganas <laughs> the very thought of Shiva they all become jayas and when he is right in front of them Naturally, they all start dancing in ecstasy, in bliss, highly intoxicated. And on the back of Mahoksha, that is Nandi. Nandi represents Dharma. On Dharma, on his back, Shiva is Establishing himself. That means consciousness is taking dharma as the vehicle to do all the panchakrityas in the manifested world. And mahoksha, here madakala, madakala means one who is murmuring with intoxication, with passion, with love. This Madakala has so many meanings and all of them suit our great Nandi. How? Madakala. He's murmuring, being so joyous that Shiva is sitting on his back with love. He's murmuring something with passion and he's intoxicated with that joy and he is murmuring something. Madakala. And also he is furious at times. Rattish at times. So according to the need of different behaviors, this dharma is also taking those paths. When that rattish behavior is needed, Nandi is becoming Madakala in that way. When anger is needed, furious needed, he uses that. And when Shiva is sitting on his back, he is intoxicated. So he is murmuring something beautiful. So Shankaracharya has highlighted the different qualities of Dharmika Nandi who is giving such support, service to Shiva to maintain his work in such beautiful way with different ranges of his behavior. If he's all the time murmuring with intoxication or murmuring with passion or with love, it doesn't help. He has to have different capacities, skills, which he uses. That is real bhakti and seva. Neela griva. So, he's filtering all the poison down. It is washed away. He's not leaving 
it to go up. That means what? Only consciousness has the capacity to filter the very source of poison, which is ignorance. That he is controlling. Trinayana, and he has three eyes, which are needed again to take care of the world. Umash Lishta Bapusham. She is closely embracing Shiva. Shankaracharya has um, referred to this in uh, Dakshinamurti Stotra also. I think it is good if we remember that also. Mm. Upasakanam Tvahumasahaya Purnendu Bhavam Prakati Kartoshi so, Uma embracing Shiva is very, very meaningful. Upasakana. Uma Sahaya, when you are with Uma, Uma shows her tapasvik nature, which was so dominant in her, to get Shiva for her. So that name Uma suggests her bala, tapasvi bala, and also one who shines forth, Uma. Sahaya, when you are with Uma, O oh, Shiva, Dakshinamurti, you shine like Purna Chandra, full moon. And my mind, which is like the moonstone, by looking at your face when you are with Uma, it just melts down like that moonstone. Just your darshana. So imagine Umash Lishta Vapusham, one who is embraced by Shakti. That means Shiva is not inert. He is embraced, embedded by Shakti. That means his totally activated consciousness. Karadhrata Mrugam Khanda Parashum, one who holds the deer. And also, we can take it as uh, Trident Triputi, which he is holding in his hands. So he has the full control of the whole manifestation. And that Loka, which is experienced, enjoyed by all the Devatas and the Rushis and the Ganas and Nandi, when will I be able to do that? Kadatvam Pashyayam, when will I be able to see you like that? That is what he is desiring, having the vision, and he wants it to happen. So, literally, if we have that. Bhakti, love towards Shiva, Shakti. Just singing these shlokas slowly, visualizing, will help us to calm down the mind, put it in the positive path. And it broadens our mind to such a great extent. So... We are all grateful to Shankaracharya for bestowing us with his grace through Shivananda Lahari. Mm. Shiva Shakti, Shiva Shakti, Shiva Shakti. Oh. 
ಶಿವ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಶಿವ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಶಿವ ಶಕ್ತಿಯೋ 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 